Hey, them. Yeah, I know luck was on you. I can run the playback. If you ain't got me, why the hell you even say that? I do my darkest in my game, yeah, I just fed back. Yeah, my last heart, but with this drop, I'm trying to change that. Yeah, too much in it, going hard and I can't lay back. And when I blow that sweat, they knew me talking way back and want to play, but they ain't put me in the place, man. Nobody believe in you until you get the hashtag, yeah. I need everybody to go follow my Instagram right now. Big brr. Uh, yeah. Talk to me nice. I want it, I buy it. Don't care about the price. I'm here for one night. I fuck her one time, then I go catch a flight. Yeah, flight. Oh. Just look at my life. We came from no bottle, now we living right. Yeah, I beat it like Ike. I step on the scene and I'm sharp as a knife. Let me pop my seat. What's good, Tessie Mob? It's your boy, Who Will Keep, cause you know I keep that hood on me. Back again with another banger, man, and I'm here with my dog, Cal Up Zay, you feel me? And we're gonna be doing this interview, as y'all can tell by the title, man. First interview, first component. Say what's up, my dog, Zay. And let's get right into this banger, man. No let's time to waste it, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. So what we gonna start is, how is what made you come up with your name and how did you come up with your name? Like, what was you doing? Like, how'd you get the content? Okay, to be honest, man, when I came up with Zay Countout, nigga, yeah. I had, nigga, I was fucking saving up. I'm saving up for a fucking uh, studio in my house, so I'm gonna yeah. have to fucking pay. Nigga, and me, you know how you just get that check and take that yeah. bitch out of cash? <laughs> I was like, yeah. like yeah. counting it. Yeah. And I was, think I was thinking about my name, bro, and I was like, man. And you I, need and a I, name. You yeah. need yeah, because I was already trying to drop a song, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just put Zay Counter in there. And then, like, over the days. Yeah. Over the fucking yeah. days and shit, after I dropped like two songs, yeah. I was I was like, I didn't like that shit. Though. I thought she was, I didn't like the way it sounded, you feel me? Yeah. And then I was like, you know, uh, that Zay told me shit. Mm -hmm. That Zay told me shit. And he was like, Zay told me that. Zay told me that. I was like, I was like, I was like, Someone can say kind of like, like you feel me like yeah. at the beginning. So I was like, nah, I'm about to. So I changed it and I changed. I used to count it. Well, I didn't change it yet on my album music because you feel me. I gotta fucking pay yeah. and shit. But I'm gonna change that bitch. That, that's my name on my Instagram and shit. Count yeah. Up. Okay. So that was that we got. Count up Zay and your name out the way. Like, where where did Count up Zay come from? Where did he like grow up from? Like, how did we get? Uh, nigga, I was born in Dothan, Alabama. You feel me? That's where I was born. I lived there for a little bit, and then my mom, my mom had went to jail and shit. So, and my mom went there really fuck with my daddy, so that was not an option. Even. Yeah. So I went to go stay with my uh, my grandparents, and I'm here in Texas now. I see in Texas now. Like, what was it like being out there in Bama while you was out there? Like, shit, just. Yeah, it's that shit, boy. Is it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> nigga, I damn fucking. There wasn't no, like, race. Like, it was just mainly, you feel me, colored people. Colored you niggas out there type shit. Here you got, like, Mexicans, whites. Mixed you up. You feel me, foreign, Japanese mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. Like, I saw mainly black people out there. The yeah. trees, you feel me? And it is more like just the hoods, like, you know? Like, when I go down there and visit, just the hoods, you feel me? It's like yeah. small, small neighborhoods. When I go with my cousin and shit, small neighborhoods. You feel me? Everybody know everybody. I like it out there. So, what made you like, how did you get into youth, like, uh, music? What made you get into music? What made you start with do music? Uh, shit. I've been, bro. So, before fucking me, when I was in high school, nigga, my nigga, my, me and my nigga JJ. Yeah. We was fucking, we was fucking, we used to smoke every day. Well, like, towards. Towards like my senior year, bro, when I was getting ready, like towards the end of the year, getting ready to graduate, so like a couple months ago, like we was smoking every day, every day, and then one day, nigga, we just put on the beat, nigga, and I started rapping, and then, like, nigga, we, that was just our thing with freestyle, like, we did that shit for like a week, like, smoke every day and freestyle, and then, fucking after that, nigga, the, my nigga Boo came in town, Yo. Boo, and then that nigga was rapping for real, and I was like, nigga, like, I wanna rap, and he was like, nigga, just yeah. rap, he like, so you tell me, so like, once Boo got here, that's really where your shit sparked. That's when you started getting to the studio. That's when you started. Yeah, bro. So probably like 
two, three months ago. So how was your first time in the studio? Like, what was it like? Was you uh, shaky? Nigga, I was shaky only because how'd you nigga, get out of the shakes and all that. Nigga, when I went in that bitch, nigga, like I never rapped on a like headphones mic, nigga. Just uh, you know, acapella that bitch. Yeah, that type shit. And then boo, like he was like, I, was, I just saw him. You feel me? Yeah. And then he hopped on and nigga damn near went took his fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> so he really set the tone, like nigga, you gotta go in this bitch and go hard, really nigga. Cause I'm like, you feel me? Or you wanna look like a fool? You feel me? Chill. Yeah. Like, I don't look like no fool. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So then, like, I did that, nigga, and I liked it. You feel me? I, but like, I liked the environment of the studio. You feel me? Like, I, I loved it really. You feel me? Like, so what's your like, like relationship with Boos? Is like he helped you out. Like, have y'all still been locked in and then uh, with the fans? Cause y'all, cause you did your first vid and shit with Boo, right? Your first yeah, vid. Yeah, my only song. vid. I don't even have. Yo, his only vid, his first vid ever and shit was with Boo. So how was that like? Like, what is boo to you type shit? That's my nigga, boy, for life, you feel me? Like, that's my nigga. I still talk to him, you feel me? We still text all the time, you feel me? He, tell, he be telling me, like, I got it, I got it, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. So, yeah. yeah. Fuck him. And I see him always under your comments and stuff, just telling you keep going, so I see that. Yeah. And, uh, so, what is, like, some of your goals is coming up, say, as an artist, as whatever you wanna do? Shit. What's some of your goals into the career? So your career, I got, you have? I got a couple short term and long term goals. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So the short term nigga in like like a year, bro. Niggas, niggas, niggas gonna be like, what? Nigga, what are you talking? About? But like like a year and a half, maybe, bro. Yeah. I want to be like like up there. I want to be blown in the city. Like I just want like the city to know my like, name. Bro. You just want your city to fuck with you so Yeah, well, nigga, you feel me? Let's say if I move, like, whatever I'm in, you feel me? That year, let's say I move today and I'm in goddamn fucking now North Carolina, you feel me? Yeah. Now, after that after that year of me making music, I want them to know. So, like, in Texas, I want niggas to know, you feel me? Like, like that you was from Texas and shit. Like, you nigga, came from yeah, Texas. Yeah, that I blew up out of Texas. You feel me? Okay. So or wherever I stay from. And your long term goes, like, where is some. Um, you trying to rock nigga, with where is. I wanna fucking start my own label when I get up there, you feel me? Cause I I gotta make it first before I start thinking. But you feel me? I just gotta have long term. I wanna have my own label, nigga. I wanna win a Grammy, yeah, nigga. And I wanna be the best, nigga. To, nigga, I, I, like you feel me? I always been competitive ass, nigga. You feel me? So like, nigga, regardless of with or without the camera, nigga. Like without or without with the oh, my fault. With or without the camera, I'm gonna rap. You feel me? So, so regardless, I'm like trying to be the best in the world because I'm gonna do it regardless. Yeah, you gonna just so you just gonna just keep pushing it till you yeah, really yeah. just came no more type shit mm-hmm. as far as you can take it. Yeah, I'm already. That. Okay. So everybody wants to know because this be like a big thing around the industry or whatever. Not the, even the industry around the rap game or whatever it is is what you rap about in your songs and some of your songs or whatever. Cause you know you be putting like you, your brother told choppers or whatever. Some people might look at that like, man, your brother don't do shit. So like, is everything you rap about in your songs official and what you be on? I don't cap rap. You feel me? But I feel I feel like you have poetic freedom. But I just I don't cap rap. So like nigga, so let's say if I'm like my brother yada yada told the chopper or whatever. You yeah. feel me? You feel me? I'll put in a song, I'll be like, I'm with my brother who told the chop. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? I, I won't say me. You feel me? I keep it real. You feel me? So mm-hmm. if I ain't did it, then I don't say it. If I did it, I said it. If I seen it, I say it. So yeah. you feel me? It's, it's, it's however you, it's just like how you word it, nigga. So if let's say if I seen something happen, I can be like, I know a nigga that da 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 You feel me? That switched yeah. up for da 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 nigga. That's some yeah. shit I seen. You get me? So like, you can rap about anything. It's all about how you word it, nigga. Nigga ain't gonna tell you shit. It's your music, nigga. Yeah. Keep it you. Feel me? So as long as I keep it me, I ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. So bro. also like, when you start going up and you start blowing up and your name start getting known out there, would you rather go to a label or would you rather stay independent on your independent shit or stay? Uh, shit. Oh, mm. So, nigga, I, if I blow up, like, let's say if I blow up tomorrow, nigga, and I blow up, like, independently, then I stay independent forever, you feel me? Yeah. Because, nigga, I, nigga, I wanna, you feel me? I don't want niggas telling me when I can and can't drop a song, nigga, you feel me? I don't wanna give all this nigga this cut, that cut, that cut. You feel me? Especially if I'm, it's my music, nigga, if I'm yeah. making, you feel me? I'm, I'm trying to learn how to make music. So if I make the beat, nigga, make the name, make the yeah. song, nigga, you feel me? I want, I, I want it, you feel me? So, but like, if a label came to me today and was like, hey, we gonna pick you up and they throw me a good, like, deal that I feel like, 
I'm gonna work here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's gonna fuck with me. You feel me? And I gotta make me feel like at home. You feel me? I don't gotta make me feel like they gonna do me dirty. You feel me? Like you feel me? And then I sign. But if not, then you feel me? I take the ball. Yeah, I feel you. But that's it. That's all the questions I got from my boy Count of Zay for today's video, man. Stay tuned for more vids. Stay tuned for more interviews. Stay more tuned for FaceTime interviews. All that is coming y'all way. More drops. I'm showing sure more love to the city. Y'all gonna see more Paso rappers on here. I'm gonna die. You feel me? And uh, we live until you think. And don't forget to go to my nigga Instagram. Follow him. Like up. Run him up, see what he ran with on his uh, Instagram. Oh, and your yeah. voice is out of this thing, you feel me? Some niggas can say I changed on them because I thought they was on the same shit I was on, but they not. Or they was on some shit that I wanted to be on, and when I got on that shit, I got on it, then surpassed them, and they was just lost in the sauce. I'm like, damn, how the fuck you gonna. Nigga, you ain't even. You boring. Nigga, you not even practicing what you preach, my nigga. Yeah, that, what the fuck is you doing? Dude, you don't told me. You don't yeah. told me to do this. But now that I fucked your bitch, you mad at me? Nigga, you taught me how to do this shit. Right, everything now you let me, let me show.